be able to overhaul and adjust a standard cup and cone bottom bracket. Tools needed. Lock ring spanner, pin spanner, fixed cup wrench, degreaser, grease, rags. Parts to identify. Bottom bracket shell, fixed cup, lock ring, adjustable cup, spindle, bearings. Step one, assessment. Remove the cranks using the appropriate tools and assess whether the bottom bracket needs adjustment or overhaul. To check the adjustment, grab the end of the spindle with your fingers. Turn it and try to move it up and down. If you are able to move it up and down and feel a knocking, or if the spindle does not move freely, the bottom bracket will need to be overhauled. Step two, disassemble the bottom bracket. Use the lock ring spanner to loosen the lock ring on the adjustable cup by turning it to the left. If you don't have access to a lock ring spanner, you can carefully use a hammer and a punch making sure that you don't damage the parts. Then use the pin spanner to loosen and remove the adjustable cup by turning it to the left. Remove the spindle as well as the bearings from both the adjustable cup and the fixed cup. You do not need to remove the fixed cup from the bottom bracket shell, but it makes it easier to check for damage and to clean. Most fixed cup bottom bracket cups are left hand threaded, which means you must turn the fixed cup to the right to remove it from the frame. Using an adjustable wrench or a fixed cup remover, remove the fixed cup. Step three, clean the parts and look for damage. Apply degreaser to the spindle, the bearings, the cups, and inside the bottom bracket shell. Use a rag to clean and dry all these parts thoroughly, looking for any damage. Damage to these parts usually appear as pitting or small cavities in the races where the bearings run. You can easily fill any pitting by running a ball point pin along the races of the spindle and the cups. If there is significant damage, you may consider replacing parts, especially the bearings. Step four, reassemble the bottom bracket. Apply grease heavily to the inside of the cups and to the inside of the bottom bracket shell. Insert the bearings into the cups. If using loose bearings, insert 11 quarter inch bearings into each side. If using bearings held together in a retainer, make sure the bearings retainers are inserted in the correct position so that the bearings make direct contact with the race on both the cups and the spindle. Thread the fixed cup all the way down and use the fixed cup wrench to make sure it is very tight. Insert the spindle making sure that the longer side is on the drive side. Thread the adjustable cup all the way down until it makes contact with the bearings and thread on the lock ring. Step five, adjustment. Use the pin spanners to tighten the adjustable cup against the bearings so that the spindle spins freely but does not have any knock. To test this, grab the end of the spindle with your fingers and see if it moves up or down. If you feel it move or knock, then the adjustment is too loose. Now try spinning it. If it feels rough or hard to spin, then it is too tight. Once you have the adjustment so that the spindle can spin smoothly and there is no knock up and down, use the pen spanner 
to hold the adjustable cup in place and tighten down the lock ring to lock the adjustment. Test it one more time after you lock down the lock ring. If the adjustment is too loose or too tight, loosen the lock ring and use the pen spanner to readjust as needed. You may need to repeat this process a few times until you get the proper adjustment. If you are unable to find a good adjustment, you may need to replace the spindle or the whole bottom bracket.